Today I'm going to paint some very expressionistic poppies. Starting out with a very large sheet of watercolor paper. The first thing I'm going to do is wet the paper. Now I've got a um, very light sketch that you probably can't see. Uh, kind of just an indication where I'm going to want the flowers to be. And I'm hoping for some lucky little accidents here. Just getting the paper nice and wet. I'm going to be starting out with a palette of Indian Yellow, Orange Lake, Cobalt Blue, Cadmium Red, and Violet for this painting. I may add another color, but for right now that's where I think I'm going to stay. Kind of a limited palette. I'm going to have my light source coming from left to right. So I'm going to start right now with um, a little bit of the cadmium yellow and work from there. Excuse me, not cadmium yellow, but yellow lake. I'm using a one inch mop brush right now to drop in some of these colors. Just painting it in. Now I'm going to go in and start darkening some of the um, the base colors still. A little bit more of that blue. Nothing's more fun than watching paint dry or a pot boil. So I'm going to take a hair dryer here and speed the process up with this drying a little bit. Okay, now we're going to start painting the poppies. And I'm starting with the um, Indian yellow. And I'm just going to paint Big poppy here. I'm going to paint some yellow down in here. We've got these little guys down here that are just kind of hiding in the distance. Now I'm going to add some of the orange lake and try to keep a little bit of the white going on. Now I'm going to um, add more detail to the poppies and define them a little bit more. I'm going to put some orange lake down in the inside here. I'm going back with the cad red and enhancing a few of the areas that I want to be darker red. These are such a nice blowing flower. Just going to take and rip off a few of those drips.
want to put some of those little buttons up in the air. A couple of places here. I'll connect later. You always have to remember that watercolors are going to dry so much lighter than when you put them on the paper. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then I'll come back to it. Now I'm going to go in and start painting that dark part spot in the center of the poppies. That lovely violet color that's a blue-black almost. And so, it will really make these things pop out with the contrast there. And you have to remember also when you're painting these that they're going to be a lot lighter when they dry. So you're going to get it good and dark. Lovely purple in there. Okay, I'm back now again and adding more detail in, a little bit more of the fine work. Going with a little bit of that Indian yellow again in a few areas. Just lightening them up a little more. Color with all the splashing and things, I brushed some of it out. As you can tell it's very expressionistic, so much fun. I'm mixing up some blue right now with my yellow and my cobalt blue. And I'm going up here and I'm making those a fun little, um, not quite open pods that you see with poppies. Putting a lot of blue into it. Adding some of the stems to the poppies here. Taking where those little drips are and just enhancing them some. Lots of poppy stem. Adding some where you can't even see it. Going out of the picture. Over in the light area, I'm still going to add some of these little poppy things. I'm going to do it in blue. And also some of the spent blossoms that after the poppies are gone, you get a little bit of these things. Just putting them here and there. It adds a little interest, a little different texture to it. Again, these are going to lighten up. And as I'm finishing up here, I'm just going to go in and add a little detail to those happy little accidents that really make this stand out and make it so much fun. There are lots of ways to use watercolor. But whatever you do, don't be afraid of it. Just have fun. If you're having fun, that's half of it. It's 
So I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed painting and see you again next week when I do another one.